Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. WeChat is a popular application known all around the world. When WeChat first started, it was a small application just made to allow users to communicate with each other. However, as time went on, it became more than just a chatting application. You can now send payments, buy things from the store, and someone can even call someone if they want. Are you looking to build an app similar to WeChat? Or maybe you're just curious about how WeChat works. In today's video, we're gonna look at what you should consider when building an app like WeChat and why it's important, from the key features to the technologies used. Do you use WeChat? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. So let's jump into it. Now, the first and foremost feature that you need to have for an app like WeChat is the chatting feature. This application was built for chatting and communication. Another important thing to consider when building your own app like WeChat is multimedia capability. It's an important feature that's available in WeChat. It's an application where people can communicate, people can send GIFs, images, and videos directly from the application. Video chat. This is also an important feature for WeChat that you probably wanna have. Nowadays, video calls are very common and people prefer apps with video calling features. And then there's encryption. WeChat will encrypt all messages and provide encryption. In this way, this keeps all the messages private. Another important one that you're probably gonna to wanna to have is push notifications. This is where you can send notifications to people. You'll also wanna offer cloud storage. This will make sure that the messages are sent directly and the media will be saved in the cloud. Another thing to consider that contributed heavily to WeChat's success is payments. If you wanna go with an advanced app, you can also offer payments. Now this is a big thing that's contributed heavily to WeChat's success. And then you can also offer a feature like WeChat where users can share location with their friends. Now, of course, these are some of the major features that are available in WeChat. And there are many minor features that you can add here as well. In fact, you can take inspiration from other applications and also implement them into your app. Next, we're gonna look at some of the technologies used in WeChat, starting with Erlang. Erlang is a functional programming language. WeChat was actually made using Erlang, and here the backend is built. You can use the same language. Many people have adopted Erlang. You can also use the Jabbered server. It's a server written in the Erlang programming language, and it can run with various operating systems. You can adapt to this server. And then there's XMPP, which stands for the Extensible Messaging and Presence Protocol. It's a protocol that will ensure the security of the network. When it comes to storage, AWS's S3 is used to store multimedia. It's a secure and scalable cloud server where you can host your files. You'll also need a PHP extension if you're running Erlang node. It's an open source extension that will help you increase reliability and run PHP with ease. You can also utilize Cassandra. Now Cassandra is a NoSQL database management system that can implement a chat system easily and its service provides easy deployment of chat. You can use Amnesia DB as one of the trusted databases. You'll need to store all things in a database and you can use Amnesia DB for this. It's based on machine learning and you can easily store all the data which is mostly available in the chat application. For example, you can store things like photos, videos, etc. all here. These are some of the main things that you'll need when it comes to technologies. You can also add things like software development kits and other stuff that are relevant to your application. It's all about the creativity, not just the technology. Next, we're gonna look at whether or not this is a sustainable idea. With so many applications out there on the internet, this has become a big question. Is this a sustainable idea? Will people use your application? Well, if you start with a small application and target a specific group of people, that's a great place to start. You'll need to build out an MVP focusing on the core features of your idea and test to see what traction you can get and what data you can collect from those users. Just like how WeChart had started out just as a chat app, you can focus on one feature only and then you can increase the amount of features as time passes derived from the data that you collect. This is the best way for you to get users and then scale up the business as you move further. You can start small and continue to scale up. So there we have it. This was a high level overview of things for you to consider when building an app like WeChat. Are you thinking of building an app similar to WeChat? Or do you simply just use WeChat? Let us know your experience in the comments down below 
As always, if you enjoyed this video or found it interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.